We're once again here with uh, Matthew Orr, and uh, uh, Matthew, aside from uh, running the booth at the IGDN, uh, is a game designer. So can you just tell us a little bit about all the games that you've been making? Yeah. And publishing. Uh, my, yeah, publishing. I'm a publisher, uh, you know, uh, and game designer. Uh, uh, we are wet ink games. Like, uh, the, the idea is that our ideas are so fresh, the ink isn't dry yet. That's kind of the idea behind the name. But we have our, sort of our flagship game is called Never Going Home. It is World War I horror. The, uh, the awfulness of World War I has created uh, the possibility to use dark magic and, you, and people are mutating from being corrupted. And so World War I is even more awful than it was in real life. And you have to survive as a soldier in that environment. So we've got a number of source books for that and obviously the core book. Uh, it uses our own proprietary system, which is a D6 dice pool. And it also uses cards. And we've rolled that plus one system into a few other games. We have Tenebria, which takes place right after the fall of the Roman Empire. So you have to, you're, you're again, you're like a, you, you could be sort of anybody that's sort of around the area of Europe when Rome fell, and you've kind of got to build a new city that isn't supported by like the, the empire anymore, because the empire's gone. Um, so it's post-apocalyptic, but in like 570 or whatever. Um, we also are using that for our newest game, this plus one system. I'm using it for Heckin' Godagos, which is our first family-friendly, all-ages kind of game. It's very bright and colorful. You play a dog, doing dog stuff, running around, investigating, and uh, staying in place real well, and doing stuff like that. And in that game, the cards are used for conflict. So you, there's no combat, but you can resolve any conflict with one of the four suits, which are either your cuteness, your friendliness, your paws, which basically means running away, or using your teeth sometimes. So, and uh, the last one that I want to shout out is our any nominee, our any award winning uh, Zhongshi Blood in the Banquet Hall, designed by Banana Chan and Sun Fung Lim, uh, and it's uh, it's about being a family in the 1920s, running a Chinese restaurant by day and dealing with uh, a restless spirits and, uh, and at night the Zhongshi. So. Cool. And do you have any uh, exciting uh, plans upcoming? Any new projects on the horizon? Uh, we do. We've been announcing on our uh, on Facebook and, and Instagram all week the things that we've got coming up. Uh, the one that I'll say is we've got a game called Home coming up soon, which is a haunted house game. You build your deck of cards for the haunt, depending on exactly some choices you make. And then you flip over that random deck of cards and have to resolve sort of each of those events in a different room of the house. And you might survive the night or you might not, like depending on what kind of damage you take and how the narrative develops. So that should be coming to crowdfunding sometime this fall. It's just called Home. So. Cool. And uh, where can people uh, buy the books? Yeah. Uh, we are in, you can buy, you can go to wetinkgames.com. That'll take you two places. Either you can go to Drive Through RPG for your PDFs or you can go to IPR, Indie Press Revolution, for your uh, offset print copies of all the stuff that we have available. Great. Well, thanks again for your time. Yeah, no problem. Thank you for